Hey guys. So I thought some of you might be interested in what kind of food I bought to start my new diet on Saturday. Um, so I just got back from doing the food shopping and uh, they completely redid my Walmart, the food section. Wow, they have so many more things to pick from now. They already had a pretty good selection to start with, but uh, they've got a lot more organic and natural stuff now, so that's great. And they changed everything around. Everything is in different aisles now. But anyways, yeah, I thought I would just um, go over this with you and just give you an idea of what I got. I'm going to start with the most expensive items and then work my way down. Uh, I bought a package of grass-fed hamburgers, essentially. And um, once I open that package, I'm going to put them in quart size freezer bags and then put them in the freezer so that I don't have to have them every single day till the package is gone. Because I'm doing this diet by myself. I'm not doing it with my husband. He's going to um, do his own grocery shopping this week and pick out his own meals and everything. Because we have been eating all our meals together for years and years and so this is going to be kind of fun for him too because now he'll get to eat what he wants to eat because uh, you know he would come home from work and I would have supper on the table so he's probably looking forward to me doing this diet too so he can buy and cook and eat what he wants so anyways I bought a package of grass-fed ground beef hamburgers I bought a box of green tea because if I'm going to be on this diet, I can't have any form of sugar and um, I can't drink coffee without sugar. It's just too bitter. And I don't do artificial sweeteners because I get um, reactions to them. I get side effects. Some artificial sweeteners give me a stomach ache. Some artificial sweeteners give me a headache, but they all do something to me. And not only that, but I don't really like the idea of eating like chemicals created in a laboratory and all that. I know there's natural things like stevia that are made from plants and things like that, but I get, um, I get a stomach ache from that and I don't know, my body just doesn't react well to it. So I'm better off just getting off the sugar altogether. So I bought a box of green tea because when I drink tea, for some reason, I don't have to put anything in it. As a matter of fact, I'm having a cup right now. So I bought um, a box of Harney and Sons organic green tea. And it was expensive, but I don't, I'm not gonna like drink tons of it. You know, I'll probably have like one or two cups a day at the most. I bought a bottle of organic extra virgin olive oil. And I mainly bought that for salad dressing. Uh, I like to mix that with um, apple cider vinegar or white wine vinegar or some other kind of vinegar and just uh, drizzle that on my salad. And um, that's mainly what I bought that for because I'm still going to cook with uh, organic coconut oil if I do some cooking. But a lot of the things that I bought aren't it's not going to be like the same type of cooking that I used to do before. Before I used to do these long drawn out recipes. I cooked a lot of Indian food and that takes so much time. I mean, it was good, but, um, a lot of the things that I'm going to be cooking now, like the hamburgers, for example, I'll just throw those on my George Foreman grill. So they don't need any additional oil. So yeah, the olive oil is mainly for salad dressing. And then I bought a little tiny container of macadamia nuts. I only tried macadamia nuts once in my whole life and I didn't like them. And I thought, you know, your tastes change over time. And in this book that I just finished reading, they were saying that you could have just a few macadamia nuts once in a while, like as a snack or as part of a meal, like dessert or whatever. And I thought, maybe my tastes have changed. So I wanted to try them again. And as soon as I got home, I opened the container up and just tried one. And 
I like them now. I don't know why I didn't like them before because they are delicious. They're pretty expensive. It was $5.62 for a little tiny container that was only like half a cup. But um, it's not the kind of thing that you're going to be eating a lot of anyway. Otherwise, I wouldn't lose weight because they are, um, you know, they have a lot of calories in them. But with this diet that I'm going to be doing, you don't count calories. You just um, basically eat low carb, high fat, and your body goes into a state of ketosis where you start burning the fat on your body for fuel. So should be interesting. I've done it before and it definitely works and you don't get hungry because the food that you're eating is so satisfying and filling that you don't get hungry. So another thing that I bought was a package of bacon. It was no nitrates naturally occurring or added. Um, I got Applewood Farms bacon if you've never had Applewood Farms products, oh, they are the best. They are so good. They're not crazy expensive, I don't feel like, either. Well, they're pretty expensive, but it, they could be more expensive. We'll put it that way. Um, so I mainly got that to have uh, one or two slices with my eggs in the morning. And I'm not going to eat that every day, though, because there is a lot of salt, obviously, in bacon. And um, I've had problems in the past with salt affecting my blood pressure. So I'm not going to eat it every day, but I'll have it once in a while. I got a massive package of, I mean, it was huge, massive package of organic kale. And... Um, I was mainly thinking of eating that sautéed, but have any of you ever eaten that raw before? I would be curious to see what that was like. I'm kind of afraid to try it because I don't know if it would be too hard to digest because I don't want to end up with a stomach ache. I, I sometimes have problems with my stomach, so I have to be kind of careful uh, what I eat in terms of like roughage and stuff, but I should be used to it after, you know, I've been eating Indian food for over a year now. So if I can handle that, then I can probably handle some raw kale. But yeah, let me know in the comment section if you've ever eaten raw kale and how difficult was that to digest. You know, I'm, the only thing that I'm used to eating raw for vegetables is salad, you know, so that might be a step up from that. And then I got a bunch of canned fish. I love canned fish. And um, this book that I just finished reading, um, by the way, I keep talking about this book, but I never told you what it was called. And I've read so many other books like this, but the one I just finished was called Eat Bacon, Don't Jog. And I really enjoyed it because there was a lot of humor mixed in, like his style of writing was very, um, it was just funny. I, I like the way he wrote the book, but I've already read lots of books like this before. But he was talking about canned fish in the book, and I love canned fish. I used to always eat sardines from a can. And um, so I thought, wow, that would be such a quick and easy meal because, you know, open the can, stick a fork in. <laughs> So that would be really fast and easy. And of course, canned fish isn't expensive. So I bought, I didn't get sardines because um, been there, done that, wanted to try some new things. I actually just tried mackerel in a can for the first time for lunch today. I had a big salad with mackerel on top. I just washed a whole bunch of lettuce and cut it up and put it on the plate and then opened up the can of mackerel and put that on top with the olive oil that it was in and then just drizzled a little bit of apple cider, cider vinegar on top of that. That's all that was in it was the mackerel and the lettuce and the dressing. And oh my God, it was so good. It, that's one of the things that I love about this type of diet is you don't feel like you're dieting because everything is delicious. So I got some mackerel. I got some rainbow trout and I got some herring. Now, I've had rainbow trout before, but never from a can, so 
Not sure if I'm going to like that or not, but why not? And herring, I've never had herring before, so looking forward to trying that. I like most fishes. I'm trying to think of a fish that I've tried that I don't like. I don't like shark. Ugh, I had that once. It was awful. I would definitely never get that again. And the only other thing that I tried that I didn't like, it wasn't fish so much as it was shellfish. I don't like octopus and I don't like squid because it's like crazy rubbery and you know it's got eyes on it and I don't know it's just not my thing. <laughs> uh, what else did I get? I got a couple of cartons of eggs and I got organic free-range cage-free eggs and I used to always just buy regular eggs so we'll see they're supposed to taste better because the chickens are happier. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, you know, cost a little bit more, but I, I've always wanted to try those kind of eggs. So I got those. And I got a package about this big of slices of cheddar cheese, uh, like chunks. And I thought that that might be good for like if I just got a little bit hungry and I just wanted something that fit into the diet just for like a snack, maybe grab one of those. And what else did I get? I got a package of ground flaxseed and I bought that for a recipe that was in the book. And we used to eat waffles on Sunday mornings. <laughs> now you can see why I gained weight. Um, yeah, every Sunday morning I would make waffles and since I can't do that anymore, okay, since I can't have that, there was a recipe in the book that sounded really interesting where you use ground flax, eggs, and cream cheese. That was another thing I bought was um, just a small package of cream cheese. And you would mix this all together and then uh, cook it in a pan on top of the stove and make like little pancakes with it and then put uh, fruit on top and uh, I thought blueberries would taste yummy on top of that but I'll have to let you know how that recipe turned out because turns out because I plan on having that on Sunday morning it sounds fantastic but I don't know we'll see so I got cream cheese and flax meal or ground flaxseed. Uh, I got some frozen vegetables. I bought three packages of organic frozen vegetables. I got a package of kale, more kale, um, spinach, and broccoli. And I figured that would be easy to just, you know, take some out of the freezer because a lot of times, you know, when you go grocery shopping towards the end of the week, your fresh vegetables start to get a little funky. <laughs> so I thought it might be good to have some frozen veggies handy. And let's see, what else did I get? I got one small single serving size container of unsweetened Greek yogurt. And um, I've tried plain yogurt before and I didn't really like it. Um, cause you know, it doesn't usually when I was buying yogurt before I was buying the kind that had all the sugar in it. So I was thinking, well, maybe if I put, um, something in it that might, uh, might be interesting. I don't know. We'll see. I, I was, I was thinking about getting some unsweetened shredded coconut and mixing that into it. And then maybe just, um, like a um, teaspoon of blueberries. I don't know. You're not supposed to eat fruit every day on this. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I'm not really sure about how I'm going to eat that. And then I got a couple of things that weren't food. I just got a package of dental floss and a package of cotton rounds. And oh, I got one bottle of just like a pint size of water. I uh, have been drinking LaCroix all this time and I was looking at the can the other day and I noticed that it didn't say purified. It just said carbonated water. And I thought, 
oh my god, they could be using tap water then. And, you know, so I, I went on the website and I think it said filtered. They filter it or something. But anyways, I started thinking about that and I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't be drinking all this carbonation and I should probably make sure the water is more pure. We have a, speaking of pure, we have a pure filtration system on our kitchen sink and that's what my husband drinks. He drinks tons of that, but I don't like the taste of it. Does anybody else have that problem with filtered water? To me, it tastes awful. Of course, when you're used to drinking carbonated water, that's probably why. So I bought a bottle of Life Water the other day, and that was really good. It's got electrolytes added to it, uh, which is basically magnesium and potassium. So I guess that makes it taste good for some reason. I can't imagine why, but it does. And I really liked that. And so I want to try like a bunch of different kinds of water and see which one I like the best. So I just bought one bottle today of uh, Smart Water. And um, so I'm going to try that and see. I still have some LaCroix left, so I think I might have just enough LaCroix to get through another week. And then I'll decide what I'm going to do about the water situation later. Don't really like the idea of drinking water from plastic bottles because I have some concerns about what would be leaching from the plastic into the water. But yeah, I just can't stomach the water from the filtration system. It just oh, tastes so bad to me. So I don't know. I don't feel like I have that many options. Before, the LaCroix was in cans. And that's probably not that great for you either because it, the cans are made out of aluminum. So I don't know. It's, it's tough to know what to do in that situation. So if any of you are like crazy about the water you're drinking, uh, let me know and uh, maybe I'll try it out. So that's it, you guys. Oh, and it, what did it cost me? It cost me $75 for all that stuff. And if I plan it out right, that should um, last me the week. I was going to buy some lettuce, but uh, I don't know if you heard, they had a recall on um, lettuce last week. So now I'm kind of a little bit paranoid about that. Last week, I didn't buy any romaine because of the recall. So I bought a head of iceberg, but iceberg doesn't really have any taste to it or nutrition for that matter. So I didn't want to buy that again. And, um, I don't know. I just figured I would buy some different things and focus on like real vegetables this week instead of having salads. But next week I probably will buy lettuce or salad because I, I love salad and the fish would have been so easy in that, you know, I could have had the, the salad with the fish in it. So instead, I'll be having the regular vegetables. So yeah, I spent $75, and that's a lot more than I would have spent if I had been buying the type of ingredients that I used to buy. But I really want to lose this weight, and this is the easiest way to do it because I won't be hungry, and the weight will come off easily on this diet. So that's it, you guys. I thought you might be interested in what I was buying for food to start my, do, min, blah, my new diet. <laughs> and um, this is the same makeup as I had on in yesterday's video, in case you were wondering. So uh, that is it. Bye.